body. You know, this week we're told that this week might be the worst week in the history of the COVID-19. How many people have died? You might be wondering, am I next? Do I have a family member that I should be worrying about? Well, today I want to share some simple breathing techniques with you that you could use to keep your lungs open, to oxygenate better, and to prevent pneumonia. Because we do know that 20% of people that get this COVID-19 get to the hospital. And another 10% or so will end up in the ICU requiring ventilation. I don't want you to get there. I don't want my patient to get there. So I'm going to be sharing something with you. You can share it with others. And in the event you get the infection, you can use it as well. My name is Dr. Cooper Docker, I'm board certified in internal medicine. And I'm here frequently giving you updates on COVID-19. So if you get the infection, what should you do? Well, if you have simple symptoms, chest shortness of breath, sore throat, fever, you just need to take some Tylenol call your doctor and it's going to be symptomatic treatment. All right. Now, to prevent the pneumonia, there are certain techniques that you need to do to improve oxygenation and to prevent your lungs from really filling up with inflammation. So the first technique you're going to be doing is called a purse lift technique. You're going to stand upright or sit up, relax your shoulders, breathe through your nostril and out through your mouth with a purse lift. You know what a purse lift is? It's like, um, like you're whistling. So therefore, this is what we do. Take a deep breath through your nostril. Hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Out. One more time. In through the nostril. One, two, three, four, five. Out. When you're doing that, what's happening here is that you're increasing the pressure in the small segment of your lungs, the alveoli keeping them filled so you can exchange oxygen and out with the carbon dioxide. The next technique is called belly breathing. So you're going to be sitting on a chair like this. Here we're going to be using the abdominals and the diaphragm. Diaphragm is the muscle between the chest and the abdomen. So you're going to be sitting in a chair and you're going to do the same thing. Breathe through your mouth. Sorry, breathe through your nose to the nostril, as you take a deep breath through the nostril, your abdomen will move out. When you exhale through the purse lip, then the abdomen will move in. So let's try that again. So in, hold one, two, three, four, five, blow out. You're oxygenating there the base both right and left side of the lung, the basis. Therefore, we prevent the small segment, those alveoli from collapsing, from the lung itself collapsing, and then start filling up with, with um, consolidation, pneumonia, you know, shorter breath, requiring help. You don't want that. Now, there is another type of uh, breathing I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna use this. This is called incentive spirometer. If you've ever been in the hospital with rib fracture or surgery, this is usually given for you to exercise the lungs. As you take a deep breath, you're moving the muscles of the, the chest, the diaphragm, the abdomen, so you're giving more space for the lungs to move. Well, while that is happening, you're increasing the ventilation, you're keeping your lungs open. Now, I have a similar technique using a straw because most of you, if you're sick with this COVID-19, you probably won't have one of these incentive spirometers at home to exercise with. So, this is very simple. You get a straw. You're going to breathe through your mouth, a deep breath through your mouth. And then you're going to blow out through the straw, but you're going to obstruct the straw for about five seconds. So, let's try this. One more time. What you're doing here is the same technique. You are creating more space here in the 
in the thorax, expanding the lungs, moving air into the small section of the lungs called the alveoli for us for you to have air exchange ventilation and actually keeping those air spaces open so that you can breathe better you can ventilate the worst thing to happen is that if you have this infection is to lay down you have to move you have to take deep breaths hold the breath there keep the lungs open force your in and then exhale as i mentioned with a pursed lip trying to get those um those alveoli open the other thing you can do we know most of the lungs will have in the back you can lay prone on the bed put a pillow here and do the exact same thing so you're taking off pressure here so that you can move the muscles and therefore exercise the lung get more air into the back side here so you put a pillow here you lay on the bed you do the same thing in through your nostril out hold for five seconds and out through the person there's some of us who like to breathe through our mouth there's nothing wrong take a deep breath one two three four five hold it there then out personally the most important thing is that you don't stay down and you increase air getting in through your lungs move the air out and then you will prevent yourself from getting into the hospital covid virus is a problem covid 19 is a problem but we can beat it together most important thing is to stay home isolate the surgeon general said that if the virus cannot find you you won't get the infection so stay home hide away from the virus if you have to go somewhere put on your precaution put your your mask on get your gloves on wash your hands for 20 seconds do everything you need to do but if you get an infection stay home call your doctor if the symptoms are worsening then call ahead get to the hospital in the meantime if your symptoms are mild practice this breathe in through the nostril hold for five seconds breathe out with a pursed lip open up your airways keep them open so they can be filled with oxygen so you can ventilate and you won't feel short of breath and you won't need to get to the hospital. My name is Dr. Cooper Doctor. Please share this video like and most importantly, stay home. I'll see you again soon. Ciao. Bye bye.